Hello everybody, and welcome back to part two of me trying to do things because I thought I'm looking cool of today being Wednesday of the middle of the month, March 29th, 2023. So, um, I'm going to get straight to the point, make this a very quick video, because it should just be simple enough to understand straight through once. So. What I like to do with, um, well, not what I like to do, I guess, per se. Um, what I think that people should do is that when you are prestige zero and you are trying to grind out your XP or cash, instead of playing raid mode, because it's very difficult with blades by yourself, and even by myself at prestige two, can hardly solo air and raid with blades, but, well, within three minutes, but looking at prestige zero, um, looking at the perk growth, um, I've talked about multiple times with growth being one of my favorite perks to use when you are at prestige zero or when you only have legendary perks or something like that. Growth, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to grind out blades and grind out XP and cash when you are prestige zero and you have enough upgrades to be able to, to do abnormal with a couple of hits. What growth does is it gives you a 5% increase in all of your stats per kill, up to 6 kills, which stacks you 30% extra damage, speed, critical percent, durability, all that stuff. So, what I like to do is, I run, I, what I, if I were to go over to here, over to over there, um, on the bottom left most path, there is a perk, or a skill, called Titan Killer. And what Titan Killer does, is Titan Killer kills uh, up to six titans that are around you if they're in a small horde now what this means is that if you are in say abnormal and you're doing we'll do planes for the sake of simplicity and better fps if i were to use titan killer in the middle of a horde then i would be able to get six free kills right off of the bat and not have to worry about doing two hit damage or three hit damage because Titan Killer immediately kills up to four to six Titans. Sometimes it'll only kill four, sometimes it'll only kill five, sometimes it maybe even kill less. But most of the time, so long as you are within a horde and you're close enough, you'll be able to get up to six kills. And that will fully, fully max out your growth and instantly give you the amount of upgrades that you need. So, I'm going to show you guys real quick what my strategy would be to do something like that. So I'd grab a small horde of titans like this, and the the um the uh, icon for Titan Killer is my third slot here. Um, it has the little Titan Killer thingy on the bottom, and if you look through it on the skill tree, you would be able to see it. So I would then go to the ground, use uh, one of my healing perks to get invincibility, and then use three. What this should do is this should give me six kills immediately without me having to do anything. This time it gave me four, which is unfortunate, but it will happen, and you'll have to produce without that. And at this point, it's up to you and your skills to be able to get uh, Abnormal finished. Um, abnormal in itself is not too terribly hard as long as you don't get grabbed, but getting grabbed in itself is already a challenge. Um, if you'd like, you could use Drilling Thrust, and since you should be up at least four or some kills, it should be able to give you uh, a quick and easy extra kill running through the horde. But speaking simplistic, um, I, I don't necessarily think I'm going to stay through the entire thing unless I can start getting the Titan kills really quickly. But in itself, it's a grind. You'll have to spend a lot of time doing it. But once you get it down to a certain, a certain type of, I guess, skill or a certain level of grinding out of it, you should be able to just fine be able to easily get three stars in abnormal mode and if not easily mostly uh it is a struggle to get better at this game in the way that i'm doing it as of now and especially the only way that i'm doing this strategy right now is because i have shoken in if i didn't i would be very much more careful with my movements but as of right now i basically have infinite blades because of shoken in so i will be okay to just go ham on these titans your strategy may or may not be different depending on what you have but in my case, this is what all I need, so I can just go straight through and murder all the Titans as fast as I can. I doubt that I will be able to get three stars because I haven't run the mode myself in a long time, and 
quite frankly, I don't necessarily know what the best strategy along with it is. But, as long as I'm able to not be bad at the game, I'll be okay, and I should be able to get my kills fairly easily. Um, also, the reason I'm so fast is because I have my Basics Pro on, and because growth also gives you 30% on all of your stats, I'm moving 30% faster than I normally would. So with growth, you will be moving faster than you're usual to, when you're used to at least, and you will have to account for that. However, it's not too difficult to account for a, a, the little extra speed when you're at Prestige 0. At Prestige 2, however, you can see that I'm, I'm, all, I'm genuinely struggling to move myself the direction I want to, simply because I, I'm moving so unbelievably fast. But again, it'll just take some practice, it'll take a little bit of um, trial and error, obviously, but in itself, this is the best way to grind through uh, Abnormal with Prestige Zero, because it's not possible to beat Nightmare, or well, it is possible, but it's very difficult to beat Nightmare Mode and beat uh, Hell Mode without Thunder Spears. So this is the best way that I see it to grind out Abnormal. Um, you can use different methods if the other methods work for you, but in my case, when I was grinding first, this is what I used to get better and get quick and easy 3 stars. Obviously, I'm not showing it, because I haven't played this kind of mode in a long time, because I've been more focused on grinding out Hell and a Nightmare, but in the case that, again, say you're Prestige 0, or a very low Prestige 1, you have all of your stats, and you- not stats, you have all of your perks, and you have growth, by fidget by chance, you can go straight for this. It should be fairly simple, fairly easy, once you get a hang of it, but again, it just takes a lot of getting used to. I don't want to say it's easy, because I'm not able to get the 3-star myself here, and it's much easier to get 3-stars with Thunder Spears, which is what I'm used to and why I'm doing so bad, but in itself, this shouldn't be too much of a struggle for you. And as long as you have the patience and the time to get better at the gear and get better at your movement, you should be okay. And another quick tip is, at the end, instead of trying to go for all the stragglers, you can round them all up together. And the ones that aren't responding to you or not taking the aggro, you can go after and kill. But these couple at the end, you can just quick bring in into a little pack and use Titan Killer. I don't know why it didn't work. Excuse me for a second. I'm going to use it again. Just like this time. Here we go. And there's a showcase for 5 kills. Uh, it does do 5 kills, so... And it does 6 occasionally, but you might have to struggle with that one. But in any of case, uh, that's my simple and easy method to uh, use growth to get through a normal mode. Um, if you use it well enough, you should be able to get 3 stars. And all in all, that should be it. I will not hold you up any longer. This is a quick and easy video just to show how to do it. I didn't show very well how to do it because of how fast my gear is, but... With a slower gear, it should be much easier to control. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe or like. Leave a comment if you're interested or you want me to see something from me. But as always, peace out.